Honorable Lady Siri Toivos' daughter, and this is being recorded for the event called It Takes My Child to Raise a Village, Virtual Village in 2021. And I wanted to share with you the fact that I just love dance music. So I thought I would put together a uh, collection of some of my favorite dances to look for. And while I was doing that, I found, I came across some dances I'd never seen. So I included those in the mix. So I'm going to share my screen with you and uh, show you some really cool dances. So it's a back relax. And here we go, sharing my screen. And this first one is from an event called Wald's Purges Night. And this took place back in uh, 2014, and it was in Rhode Island. And you might see some familiar faces, people who you see in the video, they come to Pentamere events. And so let's get started with the horses brawl. <laughs> they were having fun with that dance. So let's move on to um, a video from the Ohio Renaissance Festival and I use this when I'm teaching this to my students. The song is called Selinger's Round. It's another circle dance. Welcome. We're going to dance Selinger's Round at the beginning of the world. Cool. <laughs> 
called a reverence so it's a it's a sign of respect thank you for dancing with me and we're back at Walt Purgis night and we're gonna look at gathering peas cods just by the way a peas cod is a pea pod so it's a farmer's dance it's an English country dance um, uh, named after just something you do in this you know in the summer gathering your pea pods right there you go <laughs> look like they had fun and uh, now we're going to go over to Lithuania which is a country in Europe and we're going to watch uh, Saltarello which is a different kind of dance we've seen circle dances this is a Saltarello <laughs> 
Look at that coming. That's the name of that head piece she has. that there are parts of the dance that came back and parts of the dance that changed for every single verse. So uh, many dances have that same form. Um, I don't know what group this is, uh, but they're going to be doing uh, the Shirazula, I think. Here we go.
on the chair is Ula is also called the Marigold Marshes. And um, it's also called the Musician's Revenge, where the musicians decide what speed they're going to do each verse. So sometimes that can get very, very interesting. So next we have um, a bunch of different dances at some place called the Juliet Castle. So let's see what that's all about.
to go to the next video and I'm fine with that okay so um I'm pretty sure my list got messed up this is Saltus Gladii and they're going to do a dance called uh the v La Vida de Colleen <laughs> Here's another horses brawl. It's done a little bit differently, and this is from Wales. Uh, the group is called the Plantagenet Medieval Society. So they're going to do horses brawl this way.
people, huh? Yep, people do them different ways all over. And now we're going to see Jellosia. This is a group that we just saw, the Saltutorius. Salto, sorry. Uh, Saltus Gladii. Don't want to get it wrong. And they're going to do a dance called Jellosia. Pretty outfits they have too. Right? I like that. All right. So I have two videos from somebody who uh, whose channel is called The Creative Contessa. The first one is called Amoroso.
Yeah, she did that in her own living room. That was pretty cool. Now this next one is her leading a dance at Penzik. So she's gonna describe this. Now watch it till the end because this is pretty funny. This is called the sword dance. I'd never seen this one before and I was very entertained by it. So looks like something I'd like to try. Mighty her Achilles in combat. Some of you are probably familiar with the tale brought to us in the Iliad, the great war of Troy. And this is hunting with her ladies and her sister. And an accident of fate caused her to slay her sister. And she was most bereft. And she felt that she must pay penance for this sin. And her penance, she thought, would be honorable suicide. But a warrior queen cannot simply slit her own throat. No. She wanted to die on the sword of the mightiest warrior of her era, Achilles. And so she and nine of the best warrioresses went to Troy, and they did mighty combat on behalf of the city. And they slayed hundreds upon hundreds of Greek soldiers, leaving the Achaeans dead in their wake. And finally, she had fought her way to her target, Achilles and his Myrmidons. And they engaged in a combat all day, evenly matched until finally her arm slipped and Achilles slew her and his men slew her ladies. And as she lay dying, her helmet fell from her head and he fell deeply in love with her and acknowledged that she was his sister. Just like in the story, she perished. That's pretty cool. All right, so that's the Penzik uh, War Dance Tent, and I miss it very much. But 
you know, we will go back to Penzik another day. All right, so we're back to Walpurgis Nacht for a couple of more videos. And so you're going to see the same, basically the same group of people, different times of day. So we're going to do none such. This is a pretty complicated dance, and I, I love watching it. It's very interesting. So here we go with the none such. <laughs> kind of complicated and long and it was very cool to watch so our next dance will be a uh, fine companion this is another one i had never seen before so i kind of liked it so i wanted to share it with you so here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
dances like arming uh, like set and turn and if you don't know what those are go find out go do dancing go watch dancing and have fun with it okay someone will teach you and I I like to be at dancing and if I can't I don't remember the dance steps I kind of like need somebody to you know sort of push me and tell me where to go. All right, so our next dance is called Bella jo Joyosa. And this is a fun one to play. It's a fun one to do. You'll see there's three people in a group and they're going to do a little fencing. So like there's two people and one person fences their way through and it's really cool. All right. <laughs>
like fun. Now you might wonder, how do you get good at dancing? Well, you just go and do it. Just watch it, you know, have fun. And um, you see how a lot, of, a lot of those people, they just have smiles, smiles, smiles on their faces. So the health is our next one. And here we go. <laughs> Okay, too fast on that clicker, I guess. All right, ads in Sarah Bond. And here we go. show you something fun now in um, the uh, Illinois uh, there is a group that puts on an event called the crystal ball and that's been going for 36 years or so and um, I had the privilege of leading the band for 
uh, the two years ago. Two, yeah, two years ago. And uh, we did some choral music, the choral ball music. And this is the the dance that ends the night. Now this is this was held in a gymnasium, so it was crystal ball twenty five was a long time ago. And so I want you to see this dance because it is a hoot and it looks like an awful lot of fun. They always do it with recorded music. The dance is called Moonshine. And I thought you would be as entertained as I was when I first saw it. It is So um, I'm going to finish up this session with something that if you've been to Pensacore, you've seen a lot of just pick up dancing and instrument playing. And I don't know if this was planned, but I've got to say it really made me miss Pensac. I'm sad we're not going to have Pensac War this year, but we will have Pensac War again. And so here we go with um, uh, these are dances from um the Cantigas de Santa Maria, I believe. So sorry, sorry about that. All right, so here you go with your Pensic vibes.
Nina Barani. Bake Bake Bang. Sorry I said uh, it was a Contigo to Santa Maria before. Uh, it was uh, Carmina Barana, and the piece is called Bacche Bene Venies. And so um, I hope you have enjoyed some videos on this day of It Takes My Child to Raise a Virtual Village. And um, I hope you stay well and safe, and we come to see each other again another time. Goodbye. Duck, duck, gray duck.